Hey guys, this is Diane and welcome to Elgin's Consignment. Today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share with you so, um, some of the items that I sold recently, um, how well I did, um, things that you know maybe I should have just left on the shelf <laughs> or um, things that did really, really well. Um, it's important to me to share these things with you because as a reseller, um, it's not always a beautiful picture. Sometimes you lose money. And um, if you're a person who is thinking about going into resale, um, those are the things that you have to think about. Um, so um, this is my store. I just added some, some few new things on the store. Let me see. Let's go back to the store. Here it is. Okay, so I did add some uh, new things. I have um, Dutchess Bone um, China plates, some new bowls um, that I did add on there. Lots of trinket. Um, here's a Lamage box uh, made for Tiffany and Company. A spaghetti poodle, um, which is, you know, doing really well. Um, people are asking about it. I have a lot of trinket box that are painted from the Ukraine and also have this Denby I think I spoke about it in my last video and also a really Murano style hand-blown art glass so those are the, some of the things that I have let's go back to how well I did so recently um, I'm gonna start so I had a couple I had several sales, so let's start with this. Um, this right here is Tigger and Winnie the Pooh. I love Winnie the Pooh when I was growing up. And so it was really cool to be able to find a Winnie the Pooh that's in really good condition. And so I'm really excited about it. Um, unfortunately, I had to put the Winnie the Pooh and Tigger together because um, Tigger wasn't selling. <laughs> but when I put them together as a set, they sold for $12. Um, I did look back in my books and um, I think I paid $3.99 for each item. So um, uh, I gained some money, but it would have been good if I had I was able to get $12 for one for each item. But um, I'm still excited about, you know, what I got. This new one is a uh, Royal Delft handmade um, blue and white ship um, coaster. And it's a really small one. Um, I paid $3.99 for it and I sold it for a dollar, a dollar. So um, I think what happened here is maybe I should have just put a buy, buy it right away on price. Um, but um, it did get sold. This next one I was really excited about because I did pay, I think I paid like six dollars, you know, three to six dollars for this. So I did have to pay some money for this Waterford Crystal Crystal Bell, and it was in really awesome condition. It was most of the bells sell for about twenty dollars, and I was able to get fifteen dollars for it. So I was truly excited about that. Um, this next thing is this um, vintage cobalt blue ice pick, ice pick, <laughs> toothpick holder and tray. Um, actually, um, this right here on the bottom, um, when I bought it, I thought it was a toothpick holder. So, and I love the colors on it, but then later on I found out it is a cigarette holder. Um, and I thought, wow, they really went all out a long time ago when they're talking about a cigarette holder, right? Um, so I paid ten dollars for it and I did lose in this. Um, because I was I was really upset about, you know, the fact that I got it and I just wanted to move it out. This next plate, I was really excited about this plate. Um, I paid $3.99 for it and I was able to sell it for twelve dollars. And it is a stingle display plate. Um I put an as is um, 
for the plate. It's in really good condition. It's a beautiful, I thought, wow, it's a beautiful plate. I know that Stingo sell for about $20, but in my case, paying $3.99 and able to get um, that price for it, I was happy. This next thing came in a group. I paid at least $4 for the group of um, Peter Rabbit, Beatrice Potter. And um, when I got this piggy bank, this is a piggy bank. Um, I posted, I wanted to post it as a group and then charge a, a price for it. And what happened was I forgot about this. So I had already posted, somebody was already watching it and I think they sent in a bid. So I couldn't remove it from line. And so I just put it by itself and it sold for $7.99. And I was happy about that. Um, one of the things I wanted to, to start doing more was to um, um, purchase quilts. This quilt I purchased is a baby's quilt. Um, it's a nice size. I paid $4.99. I was able to sell it for $20. I was really, really excited about this. Um, I did go back and um, I did go back and I was looking for a other quilts like that. And I didn't find quilts. I found crochet, baby blankets, and they're online if you're interested in them. I have a blue and I have a pink and white, and I also have a fall. So yeah, so this is the Peter Rabbit's dish that I, I put together and I just recently sold it for $10.49. I will, I do have another um, set um, that I'm going to put online because there were um, a couple of people bid bidding on this. And so the person who lost um, get a, get some time to be able to purchase one and I'm going to put as is for $10.49. So, and last but not least, um, this right here is a vintage heron white rose um, porcelain dish. Um, it is, it was white and gold in excellent condition. The colors are just popping on it. And, um, and what I did was I just put $36 on it because I didn't want to go through the, the, um, I knew that it was worth a lot of money and it is signed. And so I didn't want to go through the process of having people bid on it. Um, and so someone bid on it for $36 and I was really, really excited about that. So yes. So yes, definitely. You can go on my, my website. I tried to um, while you're looking on stuff after a while, if I know that that something stays on my website, I do lower the price. So definitely, um, definitely like and follow. I have about 15 followers right now and really excited about that. Um, so if you see something that you like, definitely, um, stay around. And sometimes I do pull it and because I feel like it's, it's too good to be, um, to lower the price so um, so sometimes I do bring up the price and sometimes I do pull it so um, all of these things are available online if you go, go to um, Elgin thrift stores um, you should be able to pull me up on eBay all right so this is Diane at Elgin's consignment it was so good talking to you and I'm glad that you are here and I will see you next time